Honestly, a little bit surprised that people don't understand how transphobic J.K. Rowling is. J.K. Rowling is at it again, spending her time online bashing trans people instead of enjoying one of her many castles. Why are we shaming a woman for being financially successful based on her own hard work? Is J.K. Rowling a transphobe? Hmm, let's find out. As you all know, the author J.K. Rowling has been in some controversies over the years for stating things like biological sex is real. I remember back in the day when conservatives, they would criticize JK Rowling for being too left-leaning or maybe even too woke. But now it's a different story. I think it's safe to say that now JK Rowling is the most hated person in the trans community. I don't really understand why. It's funny, doing research on this topic, I had a hard time discovering why they're so mad. Well, apparently it was because of this. Dress however you please, Call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who'll have you, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real? Hashtag I stand with Maya, hashtag this is not a drill. So apparently a woman named Maya got fired from her job for writing certain tweets about the trans topic. So even though she got fired from a private company, they could do whatever they want and I fully support that. I still think it's ridiculous to fire someone over tweets. Some sources say she got fired for misgendering this person. So this is a man who wants to be called she, her, but I would say it's misgendering to call him she and her. I think that's more close to the actual definition of misgendering. <laughs> Here's another one. If sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. That's a great tweet, honestly. Of course biological sex is real, and do you know who really needs biological sex to be real? transsexuals. If I'm not a biological woman, then I wouldn't be trans. If I'm not a biological woman, then why would I transition? Transition from what to what? And as she said, if biological sex isn't real, then what's the point of homosexuality? If you're not sure what I mean by this, here's a clip of my friend Ariel, who was just in a debate about feminism, and she made a really good point. Define woman. Go. A person who their internal no. idea of what they are is a woman. Terrible definition. Coming from a lesbian, that destroys the very concept of our sexual orientation. Just saying that it's an but idea. Why? 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 Because you can't have, you can't be connected and sexually attracted to somebody's brain. Apparently another reason why JK Rowling is supposedly a transphobe is because she wrote a book including a man putting on a woman's coat and a wig on in order to kill a woman. If you're wondering why in the hell that's transphobic, I'm with you because it's of course not. A fictional killer putting on a woman's coat and a wig is not being trans. I would say it's not even cross-dressing, it's a disguise. I mean, if you think about a trans woman, when you hear about a man putting on a wig and kills women, it says a lot about your transphobia than J.K. Rowling's. J.K. Rowling is at it again, spending her time online bashing trans people instead of enjoying one of her many castles. I'm sorry, why are we shaming a woman for being financially successful based on her own hard work? Oops. Cast members from Harry Potter films have called out Rowling along with other prominent figures for her remarks. While on the other hand, studios like Warner Bros. have maintained that the author has little to no involvement in the game, but we know she will still profit from it. I think it's absolutely ridiculous and pathetic that these actors, who also gained a lot of success because of JK Rowling, are turning their backs against her. The disrespect, oh my god. JK Rowling created Harry Potter. It's the most popular franchise in the history of the world. JK Rowling literally became a billionaire off of her series and then donated so much money to charitable foundations, she's no longer a billionaire. Every year, she donates millions of dollars to charitable foundations. For decades, the fandom thought she was the perfect person because she showed us with her Burke series and her actions that misfits have a home. And then with her actions, 
She took that all the way and she said, no, they don't. That is why the Harry Potter fandom hates JK Rowling because for 20 something years, she told us we mattered. And then just like that, she revealed it was a lie. Bravo Alec, you are a good actor. I'll, I'll give you that. Is this, is this real? How is stating that biological sex is real anti-anyone? As in anyone. Listen, clarifying that it's only women who get periods is not demonizing trans men. Trans people don't need the entire world to change just so we can exist. We exist in the gender binary. We integrate ourselves into society. That's the whole point of transitioning. You mean besides the fact that she's a raging transphobe? Or that her books are full of racism, sexism, transphobia, fatphobia, ableism, anti-Semitism, homophobia. I think that's enough. Girl, where's the receipts? Oh, you don't have them? Well, that's because you're full of shit. <laughs> Honestly, a little bit surprised that people don't understand how transphobic JK Rowling is, but let's get into it. She started with some vague support for the queer community saying that Harry Potter taught us that no one should live in a closet back in 2014 on Twitter. But as time progressed, it was clear she's not an ally. She refused to even allow Dumbledore to be explicitly gay. So it's her book and it's all fictional. Why does it matter? And shortly after, it became very clear that J.K. Rowling is a trans-exclusionary radical feminist, otherwise known as a TERF. No, that's something that you guys wanted her to be. That's something that you labeled her as. She didn't choose this label. You have the need to call a woman a bad name just because she doesn't fit into your perception of how women usually think. But let's jump ahead to 2020. She was super upset when people called out that it is more than just women who menstruate. Yes, trans men also sometimes menstruate. And that's because we're women, biologically. Trans men are women biologically. That's why they also, that's why they menstruate. And then she got really confused about how gender and sex are the exact same thing. They're not. Yes, they are for 99.9% .9 of all people, and the last 0.01% of the population, the reason why they don't feel like their gender is the same as their sex is because of a mental disorder. It's not just my sex that is female. My gender is woman, but I'm a woman with a medical condition called gender dysphoria. I'm on testosterone treatment. I've got multiple surgeries, so I can live my life as if I were a man. I'm not one though, and I'll never be it. So I will always be a woman. Being a woman, being a female, that's the same thing because what is a woman? A biological female. God, I love the argument. It's not hate, it's just the truth. No, girl, your transphobia is showing. You clearly don't even understand basics of gender versus sex. And you need to go back to school. If truth equals hate, in your opinion, and you don't think that she's telling the truth, but you are, can I accuse you of being hateful? In this long 2020 rant, she ended up just equating trans women's experience to being men and being male violence, male predators. She basically just called us predators and men. Or maybe there's a difference between a male predator who calls himself trans and a trans woman. I personally think there's a difference, but if you don't, who's the transphobe now? That's why I don't believe in self-ID. I don't think that anyone who says that they're trans are in fact trans. With that being said, if a male predator wants to get off easy by saying I'm a woman, I have every right to say I don't believe you. But if you believe in self-ID, you're not allowed to say that they, according to their own ideology, they have to affirm him as a woman. So yeah, that's why I'm against self-ID. I think it's a no-brainer. So my final thoughts are, I of course don't believe that JK Rowling is a transphobe. I agree with a lot of what she's saying when it comes to trans politics and the trans discourse. JK Rowling has trans friends, and not only that, but they also agree and support her on her views. And a couple of years ago, she bought flowers to the amazing YouTuber Rose of Dawn, who's a trans woman with the same opinions that I have, and Blair and Buck and so on. So maybe she's against 
um, male predators calling themselves trans women, but they're not. I think that's very good she doesn't support that. Thank you all for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of JK Rowling? Do you support her and her views? Remember to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and a notification bell. If you want to support me with a donation, you could do it under Super Thanks. It would mean a lot to me and help me out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.